All right, this is Grade 3, Module 3, Lesson 12. And uh, in Lesson 12, we're going to be learning about the nines times tables. All right, so the nines times tables, um, you know, of course, it's classic. It's the big one, so the kids might be struggling with it. But we're going to, in this lesson, we're going to give two different techniques for how to memorize or how to learn the nines times tables. One, we're going to use the distributive property. And then the other one is we're going to use the fact that 9 is 1 less than 10. I'm going to give you a quick example of both of those. So let's take a, oh, let's do uh, 9 times 4, okay? And so first off, uh, using the distributive property. So what does 9 times 4 mean? So that means 9 fours. So that means 9 groups of 4. So that, that really means you're going to have 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 times. So there's our 9 4s. And then the idea would be, well, students know their 5 times tables pretty quickly. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So we're going to count up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here's 5. And so this right here is 5 times 4. And then here we've got 4 times 4. And we're going to add these together. So let's see. 4 times 4 right here is 16. And 5 times 4 is 20. And then if we add those together, 20 plus 16, we get 36. So 9 times 4 is 36. So that's one way using the distributive property for how we can learn our nine times tables by first off breaking it up into fives because students know their fives times tables and then doing whatever is left over. Now the other idea is you can say well nine is one less than ten. So over here we could say instead of nine nine well we could say we have nine fours. And 9 fours is really 10 fours minus 1 four. Oops, 4. So we know that 10 fours is equal to 40 minus 4, and that's supposed to be the letter U, uh, minus 4 is 36. So you, um, we have two different ways to show that 9 times 4 is 36. Uh, you have the distributive property here, and you have this concept that 9 is 1 less than 10. So let's get started with some practice. All right, so we're going to find the value of each row, and then we're going to add the rows to find the total. So basically, what this problem is asking us to do is use the distributive property. Uh, the difference is they break it up for the students, so into 5 plus uh, 4, all right? Uh, I'm going to show you what I mean over on the right side in a little bit. But let's, let's just take this, and we're going to run with it. So uh, they take the 9, and they break it up into 5 sevens. So that's 35, because we could do, um, well, we could count by 5s if we want, and do 7, skip count 7, 5, 7 times. Or we could just do our 7 times 5. Seven groups, or five groups of seven, get 35. But then we've got four more sevens right here. So that's going to be four more sevens. That's 28. And so down here, down here, so nine has been split up into two rows. Nine has been split up into five plus four. And then we end up up here. This is five times seven, and right here, this is five. 4 times 7, and we know up here 5 times 7 is 35, so 4 times 7 is 28, so we're going to put 28 right here, and then we're going to add those together, so 35 plus 28, so we can do 8 plus 5, that gives us 13, so we're going to put the 3 and regroup the 10, and then you have three tens plus two tens plus one ten, so that's equal to sixty. So our answer is sixty-three. So nine times seven is sixty-three. Now, they break it up into two uh, rows. I tend to just um, do it in one big stack. 
So 9 times 7 means 9 groups of 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And, and we don't want to add all of those 7s together uh, at one time, so we're going to break it up into two sections. So let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here is 5 times 7, and here is 4 times 7, and then we can add those together. Well, 4 times 7 is 28. 5 times 7 is 35, and then we can add together 28 plus 35, and we already know that answer. It's 63. I tend to like putting them up and down like this as opposed to breaking them apart, but it's up to the students. Let's do another practice of this. So now we have 9 times 8, and so they've broken it up into 5 groups of 8, and four groups of eight. So five groups of eight is 40. Four groups of eight is four groups of eight, and that's 32. And then down here, nine has been broken up into five plus four, and we're gonna times by seven, and I mean times by eight. So now that's really five times eight plus, and that's this part right here, 5 times 8 plus what? Well, that's 4 times 8. So we're going to label that 4 times 8. And then 5 times 8 is 40, because it says so right up here. 5 times 8 is 40. And then 4 times 8 right here, 4 times 8 is 32. And now we're going to add 40 plus 32. And boy, we could do that in our head. But... 0 plus 2 gives us 2. 4 tens plus 3 tens gives us 70. So our answer is 72. So 9 times 8 is 72. But I like to, instead of splitting it apart into 2, I like to do it all in one big huge tower. So 9 times 8. 9 times 8 means 8. Nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we can see that one, two, three, four, five right here. That's five times eight. And then one, two, three, four. That's four times eight. And four times eight is 32. Five times eight is 40. And then we already know that 40 plus 32 is 72. And there's our answer. E equals 72. Now this is pretty straightforward. We're just going to uh, we're just going to uh, match. However, the big thing is this time they want us to practice the concept of nine being one less than ten. So let's see. I think I'm going to have to zoom in here, and let's just go over the answers first. So first we've got nine fives. Is that saying nine times five? Nine groups of five. Well, 9 times 5 is really, can be thought of as 10 fives minus 1 five. So 10 fives gives us 50, 1 five gives us 5, so 50 minus 5 equals 45. So let's keep going with that. So 9 sixes, so really, and I'm going to do it in blue, 9 times 6. So 9 times 6 is is can be thought of as 10 sixes minus 1 six because we only want 9 sixes. So 10 sixes is 60 minus a 6 equals 54. So 9 times 6 is equal to 9 times 6 is equal to 54. And actually I'm going to scoot up here and say okay 9 times 5 equals 45. And let's scroll down. So nine sevens. So don't forget, I'm going to do it in red this time. So that's really nine times seven. And so we could think of that as ten sevens minus one seven, because we only want nine sevens. So ten sevens is 70 minus seven. 70 minus seven is 63. So nine times seven is 63. And I think you get the idea. I think I don't think we need to keep going. Uh, let's just do this last one, F. Uh, Nine fours, and I'll do it in black, is nine times four. So that's really ten fours minus one four. So ten fours 
is 10 fours is 40 minus 1 4 and 40 minus 4 is 36 so 9 times 4 is 36 and that is how we um, can use the concept of 9 being 1 less than 10 and that's how we can use that concept to learn our nine times tables and that is grade 3 module 3 lesson 12 where we're really focusing on the nines